Hello, Teenage Dirtbag by Wheatus this week. We're going to be using power chords in this song. Let's take a look at the different sections. So it kicks off with the intro. We're going to be playing our E power chord. So place your first finger on the second fret of the A string. And then we're going to want to hit our E on that A string twice. Should sound like that. Let me just do it once more. And then all you need to do to go to the next chord is either put your little finger or your third finger down onto the fourth fret of the D string. And then we play this chord twice. So this time we're hitting our A and our D string. Next we're going to go back to our E power chord. So just remove that little finger or third finger. And again we're playing the E and the A string twice. And then the final chord in this little progression is we pop our first finger down to the second fret on the D hit our A and our D string, and we play this chord twice. So all together we have got these chords, we've got our E, and then our B, back to our E, and then down to our A. Remember we play each chord twice, let's play it together at a slow tempo. So one, two, three, four. Now in total you're going to be doing this chord progression five times at the beginning and then it is going to change slightly. So after playing it five times you go to the fourth fret A and the sixth fret D. We play this chord twice. Then we move to our A power chord so we place our first finger on the second fret of the D. Play the chord twice. And then we move into our B chord power shape so push your finger up a string to the second fret A. Then go on to the fourth fret D with your other finger. This time we're going to play the chord four times, but in twos. So one, two, gap, one, two. So let's play it together at a slow tempo. So one, two, three, four. So in the original track, you will be playing that chord progression twice like we just did. Then it will lead you into the chorus. So for the chorus, we're using similar chords, but just in a different order. So we're starting off with our E power chord again, the second fret A. We're going to play this chord twice. And then we're going to go to the A power chord. So just shift your finger down a string. So it's on the second fret of the D. Hit the A and the D string twice. And then we go into our B power chords, the so 2nd fret A and 4th fret D, and we play it twice. So those three chords. And then afterwards, we're going to do this climb of power chords. So we're going to go to the 4th fret A and 6th fret D, but rather than strum this chord, we're going to pick the A string and then pick the D string. You've got two choices here, you can keep your fingers down at the same time and pick them or you can do it individually. So you're going to do it on this chord here and then we're going to move up to the 4th fret E and the 6th fret A and we're going to do exactly the same again. So all together this part of the chorus sounds like this. So one, two, three, four. So you're going to be doing that three times. On the fourth time it changes slightly. So we play exactly the same as what we just did. But when you get to here, rather than start it all over again, you just move your fingers up one fret. So you're now on the fifth fret low E and seventh fret A. Pick those strings. And then move it up two. So you're on the seventh fret E and ninth fret A. And we pick these strings again. So the last time round in the chorus sounds like this at a slow tempo. So one, two, three, four. Verse number two is exactly the same as our intro slash verse. Then it goes into chorus two, which is exactly the same as chorus one. In the bridge, it then changes. So we're gonna play our E power chord, second fret A, and we're gonna hit that chord twice. 
and then we're going to go into our B power chord but only hit it once and then we're going to go into our A power chord and hit it once. So all together it will sound like this. So it's a little bit of a quick change between the first and the second chord but remember all we need to do is just place our finger down onto the fourth fret D our second fret A note is already accounted for. After you've done that chord progression three times, it then does our final chorus climb. So this is where we go four, six, four, six, five, seven, seven, nine. If you're not hundred percent on the notes on this part, if you go back to the chorus, it is explained there on the very last time round of the chorus. You do those chords and then you do that climb up and then you just repeat it again. After this there is a second part of the bridge so this is where the track quietens down a lot compared to the part that we just learnt and here you're just going to be playing your intro and verse again. You're going to be playing it four times then you're going to go to the part where you go to the fourth fret A and sixth fret D to your A power chord and to your B power chord and you play that twice so Again, very similar to the intro and the verse. Then we head into the third part of the bridge. This is where his voice starts to go quite high. We're gonna be playing our chorus chords, but rather than playing them twice, we're gonna be palm muting them four times. If you're not sure what palm muting is, it's where we rest our strumming hand, the palm of it, onto our bridge, which deadens the note. So we play each of the chorus chords four times. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we do our climb from four to six, and then four to six on the E and the A. And we do that three times. On the fourth time round, we do exactly the same, but when we get up to here, we do our complete climb. So we move up to the fifth fret and up to the seventh fret again, exactly like we did in the other choruses. After this section, it then heads into another chorus, but we're actually going to play the bridge section in this chorus. So it's a little bit messed up, okay? But this is the part where he's singing, oh yeah. So our bridge section, just a really quick reminder we're going to play our E power chord twice down into our B, play it once, and then into our A and play it once. And then you do that three times and then you do your climb all the way to the end and you repeat that twice. Finally it leads to the outro of the track. So the outro of the track we play our E power chord twice, into our B power chord, so second fret A, fourth fret D, play it twice, back into our E power chord, play it twice, Shift your finger down to 2nd fret D, we play it twice. Go back up to our E power chord, 2nd fret A, play it twice. Into our B power chord, 2nd fret A, 4th fret D, play it twice. Then into our E power chord again, we play it once. And then there's a little gap and we play this. So what this is, is we're going on to the 5th fret of the low E. Then the fourth fret, and then the second fret, the fourth fret, and then the second fret, and then into our E power chord. Slowly. If you can use individual fingers here, great. If not, you can just use your first finger. So that has been Teenage Dirtbag by Rhesus. Really fun song to play and it's really good for practicing those power chords. If you enjoyed this lesson, click the subscribe button and then click the bell. That way you'll be notified each week when I upload a guitar lesson.